Hi, I hope you're doing great and I know that you're listening to this podcast because you want your life to grow. You want to grow and you want to intentionally improve and be successful. And so I welcome you to today's podcast. By the way, my name is Tavia Kings and today I just want to quickly tell you or remind you of three things that the successful people do. Three things the successful people do. Number one, they take charge of their lives. You don't go, uh, um, you don't sit in the passenger seat and allow some other people to become the driver of your life. You don't blame others. Whatsoever happens in your life, whatever um, circumstances, whatever position you are in now, I want you to assume responsibility. Take over the responsibility and take charge of your life. Don't blame others. Some unsuccessful people, they can blame every other person but themselves. No. A man from a book did say, okay, it's me. You just have to take responsibility and begin to ask the right questions like how? How do I change my life? This is one of the things that make the successful people successful because constantly they are in charge of their lives. They are driving their lives and they are not at the passenger seat. Number one, take charge of your life. Number two, successful people are planners. These guys are ultimate planners. Now I know that sometimes life can be uncertain, uh, unpredictable, but then it doesn't prevent you from planning. Who do you want to be in the next six months? How do you want your business to grow in the next uh, three months? Who, where do you see yourself in the next five years? These are what successful people do. They plan, they shadow their life. Now, if anything uncertain happens, it's okay because that's life, but that doesn't mean that you don't have a plan to follow through. Successful people do not wake up in the morning and say, okay, what am I going to do today? Um, I'll go to the gym. Okay, maybe I'll go, I'll go see Mr. Jack Canfield or Richard Branson or, or just, no. They plan their lives if possible and of course they do that a night before they plan a, they plan their weeks ahead plan their months ahead haven't you heard of um I had a story about Richard Branson where at the beginning of a year a company wanted to book him you know to come give them a motivational speech you know based on something they're doing <clears throat> excuse me could you believe that Already in January, Richard Branson's shadow, Richard Branson's shadow was already booked, fully booked for the year. And of course, he was so focused that there is nothing if, you know, if you're booking him for something that is not within his plans for the year, then he wouldn't attend. Even when he was offered 250000 up to a million dollars, Richard Branson still uh, uh, didn't take up that request. Why? He's focused and he already planned out his life. Successful people are great planners. We plan our lives. You are going to start planning your life today so that you don't just wake up and become hazy and, you know, do whatever you see. Remember, the more you plan, when you refuse to plan, that when you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. That's the word. Okay. Number three, what successful people do is they don't sit around watching others living their dreams. Now, the average person watches uh, movies and recently social media m at least minimum five hours or, you know, let's say minimum uh, five hours or three hours. Now, when you multiply three hours or I'm just saying minimum three hours of watching TV a day and of course the extras for social media you know what I'm saying so let's go by three hours of watching TV a day and then you multiply by seven days of a week that's already 21 hours you know you have given to people living their dreams whereas you have years to achieve do something just take 20 minutes every day to read take 20 minutes to, to meditate and reflect on your life take 20 minutes to exercise haven't you heard of the hour of power just at least bring out one hour in a day to invest in yourself could be 20 minutes exercise 20 minutes to pray 20 minutes to read a book 20 minutes to meditate just so you don't feel and just so you start living that intentional life 
so you can grow and begin to achieve your dreams and enjoy a life of abundance. A life of abundance is intentional. Achieving your dream is intentional. You have to intentionally make the decisions to grow. And so these three things are what the successful people do. And I know you were successful and you will be more successful. I hope that you stick to these things and see you next time. Bye.